Jack Devine. Welcome back to another episode of Jack Snacks. Today we're going to snack on the J.J. Kale classic, After Midnight. Stick around. All right, let's talk about the song. Simple enough, E blues for quite a while, and then we come up to a B blues sound, and then we go back to E blues. Um, my solo is based out of the melody, so After Midnight. Now, that G note isn't really a G note, and it's not really a G sharp note. It's it's always got a little a little sass on it. A little bit of that little bit of bend. Okay, that's really something that I want you to work on on this lesson. It's a real opportunity to, to channel the, the 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 magic note that exists between the minor third and the major third. This kind of blue tone. Okay, so when you play a blues scale, don't think that the the G and E that is. Don't think that the G is really the note you're going for. Always be thinking the G plus, like G a little bit, but not all the way to. It's never that, okay? So, I mean, you might see me occasionally go, you know, but that's just. Okay, so these are the sounds that I'm kind of channeling is an E blues sound, and then I get up into a, a B blues sound. I start my solo by doing this little, little riff there, and that's just really mainly to cover up the sound of the foot switch for the looper going off, but that's what I did. Okay, then the loop starts and I can kind of get into the groove, and then we come in with the melody. Okay, so that's starting on the A string at the fifth fret D note. All right, we're just quoting the melody and we're coming up to that G. And remember, there's always going to be a little bit of, a little bit of sass coming in, a little bit of pepper put on there. Okay, and then we come back to the root. Okay, then a little debt, like a little grace note. Okay, like that. And we're going to bend from seven up to nine on the on the D string. There's that upward tension on the G. That's what gives it that blues sound. We never want to make it all the way to that major third. We want to stop just shy of it. That's what creates that tension, okay? So all in. Okay, and then we're going to start on the D, D note here, a fifth fret A string go. Okay, and then, so that's going to be from the five to the flat five, and then flat five to four, okay? And that's kind of an afterthought lick, so. So that's coming. 
coming up and catching that D note after we go five, flat five, five. Okay, and then we, then we start him for the second time through the melody. Now on the second lick, as we come into the melody, we do a little approach note, all right? And that's gonna be the B on the uh, low E string, okay? And we're gonna come in. All right, then we're gonna do another little kind of grace note here with the E and grab the flat five with our pinky and slide up a fret. Okay, like that. And we're gonna resolve without picking to the E note, the tonic here at the seventh fret. A string, okay, with our ring finger. So that's going to be. All right, just like that. All right, that's the first of the three licks that occur during what I would call the build, okay? So that's over E7 to G to A on our way up to B, the five chord, okay? That B7 chord is where we're gonna build a lot of tension. So the strategy here is to basically play the same lick with greater density and intensity and tension so that we can finally explode and, be, and you know, go into that B7 chord, okay? So the first lick starts on this, uh, the first of those three starts on this up, like an up pick. Upbeat. Simple. Don't don't busy it up because you got two more of these that you gotta you gotta stuff a little bit more. Okay, so leave this one a little bit open. All right. Okay, so we're just coming up from flat five into the five by way of bending that B flat note with our middle finger at the sixth fret. Okay, and I use a, a pretty and I'm kind of pulling across. So I'm pulling down as I break up. And I'm always giving that G, just a little, a little English, just a little. Okay. And then we're gonna come in with a very similar interpretation of the next lick. All right. So that's the second of the three build licks. Okay. And again, like I said, rather than doing the bend, we're gonna, we're gonna actually fret that note and add a little bit, we're gonna stuff this one a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna pick a, a little bit here. Okay, so you see how that first one leaves a little room and then we fill it in. And I add a harmonic on that E note, okay? So you kind of rock your, thumb forward and, and kind of trigger the harmonic with the side of your thumb if, if you're unfamiliar with that technique okay I don't mean to don't mean to explain the obvious if you already know how to do that okay okay and that that just was uh that was just a happy accident but I'm happy it's in there it's one of my favorite parts of this thing okay so first one is that okay and then we're gonna come back with the third Okay, that's the third of these build licks. All right, so largely still playing, uh, I'm still thinking like E blues, right? So that's where that flat five is coming from. The reason why it sounds cool is that we're kind of building over the A chord chromatically into that five. Okay, that's the strategy of using that flat, flat five right there, okay? Okay. Okay, and now we're gonna riff out over the B7 chord. Up until this point, we've just been kind of treating that whole build as like a over art, like there's an umbrella over the entire thing that just says like E blues. Now we're about to play some B blues lines, okay? So that's the back half of the B, okay? Well, I guess that was all of the B, right? We, we took it from here. Right, then we're gonna come up from, we just played the root over the B, and now we come to D to D sharp, that's flat three to uh, major third over the B chord. Okay. Okay, then we come 
flat seven, flat five, five. Back to flat seven. Hit five and kind of fall away, but no, we don't make it that far. We go. Okay, and that's a nice little lick, right? So, uh, finally get back to that B. And we approach chromatically from A. In an open A, I did two downstrokes. It's not so economical, but. Okay, so then we kind of create this little circular lick here to get to this D note on that syncopated. That little, my, my loop hat, I know it inside now, um, so I can't help but hit that kick, but. You know, it'll sound good even if your band doesn't do that, okay? So... Okay, that is the kind of doff of the cap to the verse, right? We, we quote the melody again at the very end, and that puts a little bow right on the whole form, okay? So you gotta remember, as you're soloing through this, the last thing you want to do is lose track of the song in your solo. You want to always be interpreting the song as you solo. Now, there can be some times where you go kind of off-road for a little bit, but always bringing the listener back to the melody is a strong choice, always, okay? So we come in and we quote, again, starting from the D at the fifth fret, A string. And we come up to the B note, okay? And we go to the seven. Okay, so. Okay, and then we kind of come back and give a nice sloppy little thing, you know, just bleh, a little swagger. Okay, congratulations, you've made it one time through the form. Now let's start the first lick of our second time through the form, okay? We're gonna come to this kind of open E sound where we go. Okay, that's the, that's the lick we're shooting for. So we're coming starting here, bending down on the G string behind the nut to create that same effect. I guess you could do it there. And all fretting that's happening on the B string on that lick is happening on that C sharp. We're bending up like that and creating a lot of tension with the open E, all right? And then we do a bend slide up and hit the, the E note here at the fifth fret B string and then start toggling back and forth between the open E string. So. Okay, so then we come and kind of grab the top two notes of a G triad. Okay, then come up and grab the top two notes of the A triad. And then we come and hit that flat five. We're gonna kind of bend that A. Come back to the G and bend up towards the G sharp, okay? So we're kind of headed back towards resolving over that E chord. Like that. Okay, so. the next junk now that starts on the one okay so we played that big root note with the, all the wide vibrato so that's one two three four okay so we're gonna start on the six 
Okay, that's the interval, the sixth, ninth fret of the uh, E string, and we're gonna go to seven, then to the eighth fret G, uh, G note, okay, on the B string. So six, five, flat three, and then back to root. down we skip the B note we go straight to the flat five four and flat three bent up a little bit and release okay so into quoting the melody, right? Okay, so we're just kind of like that. And then I go and put my pinky down on the 15th fret B string. That's the D note. And then go like that. Okay. And then very quickly jump to this position of fretting and not moving the high E. I anchor the high E at the 12th fret and bend the C sharp at the 14th fret B string towards, okay, the note I was just playing. All right, creates a wonderful tense sound. It's kind of dissonant, right? And if you're lucky, on your way up, you'll get one of those dive bomby sounds. I don't know if that's coming through on the phone. Okay, we're gonna create that tension coming up and then back down to what should sound like the the fifth and the third of the A7 chord that we're playing over. So it should be... Uh... Okay. So once we come down into that shape, right? coming back down and we're gonna quickly go C sharp to G flat five right the tritone right now the idea that's cool so then we take that shape okay the the space between okay the thing is one fret in the middle and one string apart and we're gonna take that same shape and we're gonna start moving it around and find some coincidentally hip stuff so we're going up two frets and up well, down a string, right? Then back two frets, and then back again. Up two frets and down a string, right? So... Okay, and all that's over an E chord. the build right now we're coming out of that that uh intervallic you know it's kind of shape based lick so there's some open string pull-offs from the 10th fret on both the e and the a string so watch out for those okay so okay but let's talk about the build we come in Gonna cause talk and suspicion is replaced by a Okay. Coming from the flat five up into the five again. Okay, but I mean, I'm thinking E blues the whole time over top of both the E dominant chord the G chord and the A chord, okay? But when it comes down to the A chord, I, I actually am thinking chord tones by the time I get up here. You'll see, okay? So... That's the last...
last little bit of the G chord. See how that's the third and the fifth of the G chord? So. Okay, so now we're on the third and the five of the A chord. bend from the five of A up into the five of our five chord, the B, right? So that's gonna be an F sharp note. Okay, so we're gonna take this uh, 17th fret B string and bend it with our middle finger, which can be a little challenging. Okay, then we're gonna quickly pedal back to this kind of classic rock staple lick of bending the flat three up into the third. So it's down, up, down, down, up, down. And then we over bend, okay? We bend a three fret bend from E up to G. And then come into both the melody one last time and get out, okay? <laughs> That's our last lick. Okay, we've just done that big three fret bend from E to G. Okay, and then we're gonna come in and go. Okay, quote the melody. All right, so that smear, that big power slide, whatever you wanna call it, that happens on one, okay? The timing gets a little funny. Then this big bend from A to G takes place on the and of two. Okay, so we come in. your last lick and it's it's a doozy with the okay that's a little sequence from a to g then then e to g then d to e then we're going to jump here to the four of our e chord and go So that's going to wrap up today's episode of Jack Snacks. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe. Take care. Bye-bye.